guys, it's September the 3rd. We are in Oklahoma. Missouri's opener, bow, bow season opener, is on the 15th, but Oklahoma's isn't until October 1st. But we're coming out here uh, early to do some scouting. We got some got some land picked out on Onyx. We got some pins put out on Onyx. So <clears throat> we're gonna go look at some different properties. And uh, our mission this weekend is just scouting mission. Me and Hunter's behind the camera. My cousin Hunter. Hunter. It's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're gonna, our mission really is just to try to locate some deer and locate some good, you know, food sources and just try to just find deer, of course. And that sounds simple, but that, I mean, it's better to get out an early start instead of waiting till the season's already open and wasting the first couple of days trying to find the deer. So if we can find some now, we'll have a head start. So that's what we're doing. It's hot. Tomorrow it's gonna be a little cooler and chances of rain but we'll be scouting all day tomorrow, so I'm hoping we'll get some good videos of some deer and stuff. We want to find a big old booner. Find a big old booner to hunt. So. first spot it's about 160 acre square mile of land it's all open out here but we're gonna go there's a little pond and a draw of woods we're gonna just go over there and look and see what we see if it looks good we may stick a camera out who knows <laughs> how the grass is laid down and then there's another one just right there. You can see some deer have been laying in here. So we've already seen quite a bit of sign. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go through this pinch point and just work our way back to the vehicle and see if we see any more sign. But so far this spot, I mean it looks really good. They got cover, they got water, and just 500 yards there's a big old field of crops. So it's a good spot. Yeah, this right here is, I mean, that looks like a big bed. It's definitely a big one. Know, but there's, I mean, it's all, looks like they come in from that way. They jump up something up here in this tall grass. Well, we're going to make our way back to the car, though. But in these big, in these big bedding air brushy fields, always, if you're looking for butt beds, always look around where there's some taller, a little bit taller trees, because they, those deer, they like that shade, and when it, the days get hot, and that's what you find in these. I mean, there's beds every, every little clump of trees, there's beds around them. So it's a lot of good signs. They're camping. All right, well, we checked out one spot so far. It actually looked really good for a smaller piece. It was like 160 acres, but it was on our way to where we're headed next, which is a secret, I guess. <laughs> so I can't say where we're secret going. Secret spot. But we're about a couple hours away from where we're headed. We're going to try to get there before dark. Hopefully get some eyes on some deer. So stay tuned.
So tonight we got to the property we wanted to look at, right? Like 20 minutes, well, 15, 20 minutes before dark. We've ended up seeing probably 25 deer. We've seen quite a few does and we said in that bachelor group of bucks that you see on the video, we're gonna try to look at that land around where they were. They weren't on public land where we're allowed to hunt, but they were right across the road. So we're gonna try to figure out if they're going over to the public or if they're living there. So we're not sure, but we're gonna look at it a little more and see. Anyway, it was a good, it was fun, just the last little bit of light. So, but we're gonna get a good night's rest and get up at daylight and get out there to some more land. There's several other properties we wanna look at and just see what we see. Well, September 4th. We swung in here to get a little gas, but it's closed and you gotta pay inside. So I'm gonna try to find another one. It's 5.47 in the morning, it's pouring down rain, but it's supposed to lighten up by about 7, so we're going to go ahead and try to get out to the property we want to look at and wait till it's daylight to see what we see. So, <clears throat> do a lot of driving this morning and then later on this morning we'll probably go out on foot on a few properties just to kind of look around, so keeping our fingers crossed, it might be a good day, might see a monster. driving the roads right now we hadn't seen much after it it broke daylight and it wasn't raining and then it started raining so I'm not saying the deer aren't moving but we where we're at we ain't been seeing much we was we drove over here in the dark and we did have some deer run across in front of us a decent buck and looked like he had some does and smaller bucks with him but so right now we're just driving the roads and Hoping the rain will let up a little bit so we can see better. And it's it's been it's kind of a little foggy and stuff, so dreary morning, but we're hard at it. Road road tripping. <laughs> There's something in the road. Big old buck. Big old cow buck. seen all these a group of bucks last night they're just right across the main road well this land we can actually hunt not very far from where they were and we last night we drove through and there was a group of does that dropped off in this little ravine and as soon as we walked over we seen there's a rub just a fresh rub right here where they rubbed their velvet off the bucks are just now losing their velvet and so it's a good sign I know there's they use this little bit of cover these patches of timber and there's big open fields and so this is where you're gonna find a lot of your sign so anyway that's that's a good sign we're gonna keep walking through here and see what other if we can find more rubs and stuff and this might be a good area to kind of focus on I'm gonna go walk along this fence and see if I can find any hair yeah, that's what I was thinking too I think that's cow isn't it is it yeah, maybe. yeah I think that's cow thought that might have been deer but I think it's cow So, rubbing up against it. We're gonna call it a day. We're heading back to the house, so we're gonna try to come back in October and after season opens and look around some more and try to kill something, but. 
wasn't the best day, but we did feel like we still learned a little bit about where the deer are not. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you where some deer aren't, but not real sure where they're at. But it was fun. It was a good day. We did see a few deer, and we seen some good ones last night, so we kind of have a little bit of a plan for when we come back in October. So, anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. Catch us on the next video. Thank you.